Chapter 25 Pramea Namabas The next day, shortly after Sandhya, Vijay and Brajanath came before the respected Babaji, and having offered Sastang Dandavat, they took their asanas. Vijay took the opportunity to humbly ask, Prabhu, kindly have mercy upon us and tell us everything about Namabas Tattva. We are very anxious to know the secret of Nam Tattva. Babaji answered, You are very fortunate. If you want to understand Nam Tattva, you must understand three subject matters very well. Nam, Namabas, and Nam Aparad. I have already explained so much about Nam and Nam Aparad, and now I will explain about Namabas, which means the semblance of Sri Nam. Vijay. What is Namabas, and how many kinds of Abas are there? Babaji. The word Abas means luster, shadow, or reflection. As the radiance that emanates from a naturally lustrous object has kanti, effulgence, or chaya, shadow, so the sun-like name has two kinds of abhas. One is the shadow, nam chaya, and the other is the reflection, nam pratibimba. Learned people who are conversant with bhakti abhas, bhava abhas, nam abhas, and vaishnava abhas say that all kinds of abhas have two divisions, pratibimba, reflection, and Chaya, Shadow. Vijay. What is the relation between Bhakti Abhas, Bhava Abhas, Nama Abhas, and Vaishnava Abhas? Babaji. Vaishnavas practice Hari Nam, and when their practice is on the level of Bhakti Abhas, then their practice of Nam is called Nama Abhas. They themselves are also Vaishnava Abhas not pure bhaktas. Bhav and bhakti are one and the same thing. It is only because they are on different levels that they are known by different names. Vijay, on which platform is the jiva called Vaishnava Bas? Babaji. Srimad Bhagavatam 11.2.47 says, Archayam evaharaye pujam ya shradhaye hate Na tad bhakte shu chanye shu, sa bhakta prakrita smritaha. One is a materialistic devotee, Kanishta, if he accepts the Archamurti of Bhagavan as Sri Hari and worships him with faith, but does not faithfully worship Krishna's bhakta or other jivas. In this shloka, the word shraddha is mentioned. However, the intended meaning is shraddha bas not pure Shraddha, because if one worships Krishna, but not his Bhaktas, then his Shraddha is either Chaya, Shadow, or Pratibhimba, Reflection. That faith is worldly faith. It is not spiritual faith, Aprakrita Shraddha. Therefore we should understand that anyone in whom we see that faith is a materialistic devotee, Prakrita Bhakta, or a semblance of a Vaishnava, Vaishnava Bas. Sriman Mahaprabhu has said that Sri Raghunath Das Goswami's father and uncle, Hiranya and Govardhan, were Vaishnav Praya. This means that they accepted Vaishnav markings and dress and chanted Nama Bas as if they were Shuddha Bhaktas, but actually they were not pure Vaishnavas. Vijay. Can Mayavadis also be called Vaishnava Bas? if they accept the symbols of a Vaishnava and chant Sri Nam? Babaji. No, they cannot even be called Vaishnava Bas. They are simply offenders, so they are called Vaishnav Aparadi. In one sense, they might be called Vaishnava Bas, because they have taken shelter of Pratibhimba Nama Bas and Pratibhimba Bhava Bas. But they are such great offenders that they are to be separated even from the name Vaishnava. Vijay. Prabhu, please explain the symptoms of Shuddha Nam even more clearly, so that we may easily understand it. Babaji. Shuddha Nam means taking Nam with a favorable attitude, while remaining free from all material desire 
and Nyabilas, and from coverings of Gyan, Karma, and so on. To desire the supreme bliss that comes when the transcendental nature of Nam manifests clearly is not Anyabilas. All kinds of desires apart from that, such as the desire to be free from sins and to gain liberation, are certainly Anyabilas. There will be no Shuddha Nam so long as Anyabilas remains. One will not receive Shuddha Nam as long as he still desires the fruits of performing Gyan, Karma, Yoga, and so on. Shuddha Nam comes from accepting Nam with only favorable inclinations and rejecting all unfavorable emotions from the heart. If one keeps these characteristics of bhakti in mind and deliberates carefully, it becomes clear that Shuddha Nam is certainly that Nam which is free from Nam Aparad and Nam Abbas. Therefore, Sri Gorachandra, the merciful avatar for Kali Yuga, has said, Trinad api suni chena, taror api sahishnu na, amani na manadena, kirtaniya sadahari. Shikshastikam 3 One should think himself more insignificant and lower than the straw in the street, and should be more tolerant than a tree. He should give all respect to others without desiring any respect for himself. Then he will be qualified to chant Sri Hari Nam constantly. Vijay, Prabhu, what is the intrinsic difference between Nam Abbas and Nam Aparad? Babaji, when there is no Shuddha Nam, Sri Nam is called Nam Abbas. That Nam Abbas is called Nam Abbas at one stage and Nam Aparad at another stage. It is called Nam Abbas when the name that is chanted is impure because one is in ignorance. That is to say, one is under the control of illusion and inattentiveness. However, when the name is chanted impurely with a desire for sense enjoyment, boga, or liberation, moksha, and based on a mayavad conception that is known as nam aparad. If the other kinds of aparads that I told you about before are present because of simple ignorance, the ashuda nam, impure name, taken in that situation is not Nam Aparad, but Nam Abbas. You should remember that, as long as one does not commit Nam Aparad when one is chanting Nam Abbas, there is hope the Nam Abbas will go away, and that Shuddha Nam will arise. However, if there is Nam Aparad, the rising of Nam in the heart can only take place with great difficulty. There is no means to obtain benefit other than the method that I have already explained, to become free from the offenses against Sri Nam. Vijay. If someone is performing Nama Bas, what must he do so that his Nama Bas may become Shuddha Nam? Babaji. The suitable engagement is that he takes the association of Shuddha Bhaktas. If he stays in their company and chants Nam according to their order and guidance, he will then acquire a taste for Shuddha Bhakti. The name that appears on the tongue at that time will be Shuddha Nam. At the same time, he should diligently give up the company of Nam Aparadis, because Shuddha Nam will not manifest if one remains in their association. Satsanga is the only cause of the Jiva's good fortune. That is why the Lord of our life, Sri Gaurangadev, instructed Sanatan Goswami that Satsanga is certainly the root of bhakti. One should always renounce associating with women and non-devotees and practice Krishna Nam in the association of bhaktas. Vijay Prabhu, can the sadhak not perform Shuddha Nam without giving up his wife? Babaji It is certainly imperative to give up the association of women. A Grihasta Vaishnava who remains with his married wife in a detached mood is acting properly in the Vaishnava world and this is not called association with women. The attachment of men for women and women for men is called Yoshit Sangha. If a householder takes Krishna Nam and gives up his attachments, then he will certainly attain the highest goal of life. Vijay How many kinds of Nama Bas are there? Babaji 
Srimad Bhagavatam 6.2.14 enumerates four kinds of Nama Bas. Sanket Yam Parihasyam Va Stobam Helanam Eva Va Vaikunta Nama Grahanam Ashesha Ga Haram Vidu One may utter Sri Krishna Nam to indicate something else, Sanketa, jokingly, Parihasa, antagonistically, Stoba, or even disrespectfully, Hela. Learned people know that these four types of shadow Nama Bas destroy unlimited sins. Those who are ignorant of Nam Tattva and Sambandha Tattva perform these four kinds of Nama Bas. Vijay what is Sanketya Namabhas? Babaji. Sanketya Namabhas is uttering Bhagavan's name when alluding to something else. For instance, Arjamil called on his son Narayan at the time of his death, but Bhagavan Sri Krishna's name is also Narayan. So Arjamil's uttering Narayan was an instance of Sanketya Namabhas. When Muslims see a pig, they show hatred and exclaim, Haram, Haram. The exclamation Haram contains the two words of Ha and Ram. So the person uttering the word Haram also obtains deliverance from the cycle of birth and death as a result of taking that Sanketya Nam. All the Shastras accept that Nama Bas gives Mukti. Through Sri Nam, relationship is strongly established with Mukunda the giver of liberation. Therefore, by uttering Sri Nam, one is in touch with Bhagavan Mukunda, and by that contact, Mukti, liberation, is easily obtained. The same liberation that is obtained with great difficulty through Brahma Gyan is easily available to everybody without hard labor through Nama Bas. Vijay Prabhu, we have read in different places in the Shastras that those who utter Krishna's names jokingly obtain liberation. This includes those who desire liberation, mumukshu, those who are vainly proud of their learning, malechas who are devoid of tattva jnan, and those who are asuric and actually opposed to the ultimate goal. Now please tell us about stoba nama bas. Babaji Stoba means uttering Sri Nam antagonistically to hinder others in their chanting of Krishna's name. For example, while a pure bhakta is chanting Hari Nam, an offender may see him and make faces saying, Your Hari Kest will do everything. This is an example of Stoba, and that Stoba Nam can award liberation even to such a person as that hypocrite. The names have such natural potency. Vijay What is Hela Nama Bas? Babaji. Hela Nama Bas means to utter Sri Nam disrespectfully. It is said in the Prabhash Khand that taking Sri Nam neglectfully also results in liberation from this material world. Madura Maduram Etan Mangalam Mangalanam Sakama Nigamavali Satvalam Chitsvarupam Sakrit Api Parigitam Shraddaya Heleava Brigu Vara Naramatram Tarayet Krishna Nama. O best of the Brigus, this Nam Brahma is more sweet than any sweet thing, and the most auspicious of all that is auspicious. He is the delectable pure fruit of the flourishing Shruti desire creeper, and appears as the embodiment of knowledge, delivering any human being who even once chants Sri Krishna Nam, either with respect or disrespect. In this shloka, the word shradaya means with respect, and heleya means with disrespect. The purport of the statement, Naramatram Tarayet, is that Krishna's name even gives liberation to the Muslims. Vijay. But isn't it an offense to chant Hari Nam antagonistically or disrespectfully? Babaji. It is an offense if one is disrespectful knowingly and with bad intention, but if one is disrespectful unknowingly, it is Nam Abbas. Vijay. What is the result of Nam Abbas, and what will it not give? Babaji. Nam Abbas will give all kinds of enjoyment, happiness, liberation, 
and the eight kinds of perfections, cities, but it will not give Krishna Prem, which is the highest goal of human life. However, by giving up bad association and by associating constantly with Shuddha Bhaktas and following their instructions regularly, one may quickly become a Madhyam Vaishnava. Then even within a few days he can obtain Shuddha Bhakti and Krishna Prem. Vijay Prabhu, many who are Vaishnava Abhas bear the outward signs of a Vaishnava and constantly perform Nama Bhas. Even so, despite engaging in this way for a long time, they still do not receive Prem. What is the reason for this? Babaji There is one secret here. The Vaishnava Abhas Sadak is qualified to receive pure devotion, but he does not have pure one-pointed bhakti. It may be that he is associating with a person whom he thinks to be a sadhu, but who is actually a mayavadi and not a shuddha bhakta. Due to this undesirable association, the sadhak will follow the mayavadi's apasiddhantic instructions, and as a result, whatever bhakti abhas he had will vanish, and he will gradually fall down into the category of Vaishnava Aparadi. In that condition, it is quite difficult indeed practically impossible, for him to succeed in his practice. Yet if his previous Sukriti is strong, it will remove him from that bad association and place him in the association of saintly persons, and from that satsanga he can obtain pure Vaishnavism again. Vijay Prabhu, what is the result of Nam Aparad? Babaji the accumulation of sins from Nama Parad is even more dreadful than the result of committing the five Mahapap millions of times. Thus, we can easily estimate the dire result of Nam Aparad. Vijay Prabhu, I understand that the result of Nama Parad is very dangerous, but is there any good result derived from the names that are uttered offensively? Babaji Sri Nam will give whatever result the Nam Aparadi desires while he is chanting the names, but it will not award Krishna Prem. At the same time, the offender has to suffer the result of his offenses against Sri Nam. One who commits offenses to Sri Nam and who takes the name with a wicked mentality will receive the following results. In the beginning, the Nam Aparadi takes Sri Nam with a wicked mentality, but after some time, he occasionally chants Nam free from wickedness. This chanting of the name without a crooked mentality causes him to accumulate Sukriti. Slowly, slowly, as that Sukriti increases, its influence enables him to receive the association of saintly people who are chanting Shuddha Nam. The influence of Satsanga induces the Nam Aparadi to chant Sri Nam constantly which frees him from Nam Aparads. Even people who had a great desire for liberation have gradually become Hari Bhaktas by taking shelter of this process. Vijay If simply chanting one name can successfully remove all sins, why is it necessary to chant Sri Nam constantly like an unbroken stream of fragrant oil? Babaji the inner self and dealings of the Nam Aparadi are always crooked in every way. He is opposed to Krishna, Bahir Mukh, by nature, and therefore he has no taste for saintly people or auspicious paraphernalia and times related to Bhagavan. His natural inclination is towards unworthy people, things, conclusions, and activities. However, if he always chants Sri Nam, he will have no time for unwanted association and activities, and because he is not in bad association, his chanting of Sri Nam will gradually become pure and give him a taste for auspicious objects. Vijay Prabhu, a current of nectar of Sri Nam Tattva is flowing from your mouth and entering our hearts through our ears, and we are becoming intoxicated by Sri Nam Prem Ras. Today we have succeeded in understanding these different topics of Nam, Nama Bas, and Nam Aparad.
Now please give us whatever final instruction is appropriate for us. Babaji, Pandit Jagadaranda has given a very beautiful instruction in his Prema Vivarta, Chapter 7. Listen closely. Asadu sange bhai Krishna nama nahe hai Namakshira bahira bate Tabu nama kabu nai Kabu nama basa hoi sada nama aparad E saba jani be bai Krishna bhakti rabada Yadi kari be Krishna nam Sadu sanga kara Bukti mukti siddhi vancha Dure parihara Dasha aparada tyaja Mana apaman Anasaktya vishaya bunja Aralaha Krishna nam Krishna bhakti anukula Sabakara harasvikara Krishna bhakti pratikula Sabakara parihar Jnana yoga chesta chada Ara karma sangha Markat vairagya tyaja Yate de haranga Krishna amai pale rakshe Jana sarva kala Atma nivedana dainye Guchchayo janjal Sadhu pava kasta bada Jivare janiya Sadhu bhakta rupe Krishna Ailaya nadia Gora pada ashraye Kara budiman Gora bai sadhu guru Keba ache an Vairagi bai gramya kata Nasunibe kan Gramya varta nakahibe Jabe milebi an Svapne o na karabai Stri sambasana Grihe stri chadia bai Asiya chaban Yadi chaha pranayara kite Gaurangera sane Chota hari daser kata Take ye na mane Bala na kaibe ar Bala na paribe Hridayete Radha Krishna Sarvada Sevibe Bade Harida Serenai Krishna Nama Balibe Badane Astakala Radha Krishna Sevibe Kunjabane Grihasta Vairage Dune Bale Gora Rai Dekabai Nama Bina Jena Dina Nahi Jai Bahu Anga Sadane Bai Nahi prayojana, Krishna namashraya shuddha, Karaha jivan, Bada jive kripa kari, Krishna hoile nam, Kali jive daya kari, Krishna hoile goradam, Ekata sarala bave, Baja gorajan, Tabe ta paibe bai, Shri Krishna charan, Gaurajana Sangha Kara Gauranga Baliya Hare Krishna Nama Bala Nachiya Nachiya Achire Pai Bebae Nama Premadan Yaha Vilaite Prabhur Nade E Agamana Remember by, my dear brother, Krishna Nam cannot awaken in the association of non-devotees. Only the syllables of Sri Nam will come out of the mouth but Nam himself will remain far away. Certainly there is only Nam Aparad in their association. Sometimes by great fortune there is Nam Abbas, but you should know that both Nam Abbas and Nam Aparad are obstacles for Krishna Bhakti. If you want to chant pure Krishna Nam, then take Sadhu Sangha, and at the same time fully relinquish all desires for enjoyment, liberation, and mystic perfections. Remain free from the ten offenses to Sri Nam and from false pride, contempt for others, and so forth. Accept sense objects only as far as necessary in a spirit of detachment and incessantly take Krishna Nam. Accept all that is favorable for Krishna Bhakti as your very life and wholly forsake all that may hinder your practice of Krishna Bhakti. Abandon all endeavors for karma, jnana, and yoga, and remain aloof from attachment to the external symptoms of renunciation, marketa vairagya. At all times have this full faith, Krishna will certainly maintain and protect me, 
adopt the qualities of Sharanagati, headed by Dainya, humility, and Atmani Vedana, full surrender of oneself at Krishna's lotus feet. For practicing these six types of loving self-surrender destroys the web of Maya. It is very rare that the jiva can receive Sadhu Sangha. Knowing this, Bhagavan Sri Krishna himself has descended in the form of a sadhu and bhakta in Nadia, Navadvip. Therefore, O intelligent people, take shelter of Sri Gora's feet. Who is a greater sadhu or guru than him? He is Krishna himself. My renounced brother, if you sometimes meet with others, do not hear or discuss mundane topics. O Bhai, do not talk with women even in dreams. Remember how you have left your wife at home and have come to the forest, Sri Vrindavan, to engage wholeheartedly in bhajan. If you desire to repose your love at Sri Gaurachandra's lotus feet, always keep in mind Sri Man Mahaprabhu's stern dealings with Chota Haridas in this connection. Do not eat opulent food or wear fine clothes, but always render savour to Sri Radha Krishna within your heart of hearts. At all times, both by day and night, fill your mouth with Hari Nam in the same way as Bada Haridas, and in your heart perform seva of Radha Krishna in the kunjas of Vrindavan during the eight periods of the day and night. Look by, Gora Rai has given this instruction. It is of no consequence whether one is in the Grihasta ashram or the Vairagi ashram. Both should not allow a day, an hour, or even a moment to pass by without taking Nam. Hey, Bai, there is no need to practice many kinds of sadhan. Just by taking shelter of Krishna Nam, your life will become purified and full of meaning. Being merciful on the jivas who are bound within this age of quarrel, Sri Krishna has become Nam Rup. Then feeling still more compassion, he also became Gora and Sri Gora Dham, Navadvip. So with single-minded determination and a non-duplicitous heart, just worship Sri Gora Chandra. By, through this means, you will certainly attain the shelter of Sri Krishna Chandra's lotus feet. Perform Hare Krishna Nam Kirtan in the association of Gora Bhaktas and continuously dance and call out, Hagaranga, Hagaranga. O oh, Bai, being thus engaged, before long you will receive the invaluable wealth of Nam Prem, the very jewel which Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu descended to Nadia to distribute. When Vijay and Brajanath heard this passage of Sri Jagadananda's Prema Vivarta from the mouth of Sri Babaji Maharaj, their hearts became agitated, being absorbed in the mood of Mahaprem expressed by Sri Jagadananda Pandit. Babaji was almost unconscious for a long time, and then he embraced them and crying sang the following kirtan. Krishna Nama Dare Katabala Vishaya Vashanalae Morachita Sadajvale Ravi Tapta Maru Bhumi Sama Karna Randra Pata Diya Pridi Maje Praveshiya Bari Shaya Shuddha Anupama Bari Shaya Shuddha Anupama Hridaya hoi te bale Jivairaragrete chale Shabda rupe Nache anukshana Kante mora bange swara Anga kampe tara tara Stira hoite na pare charana 
Chakshe dara dehi garma, pula kita saba charma. Vivarna hoi la kalevara, murchita hoi la mana, pralayera agamana. Bave sarva deho jara jara, Bave sarva deha jara jara, Kari ete upadrava, Chite varshe shudhadrava, More dare prema rasagare, Kichu na bujite dila, More tabatula kaila, Mora chita vita sabahare, Mora chita vita sabahare, Loi nu ashraya janra, Heno vyavahara tanra, Varnite na pari eksakala, Krishna nama ichamai, Jahe jahe sukhi hai, Sehi more sukhe rasambala, Sehi more sukhe rasambala, Krishna nama dare katabala, Krishna nama dare katabala, Prema rakalika nam, Adbutara seradam, Ena bala korei prakasha, Ishata vikasi puna, Deke nija rupa guna, Chitta hari loya Krishna pasha, Chitta hari loya Krishna pasha, Purna vikasita hana, Braje more jayalana, Dekai more swarupa vilasa, More siddha deha diya, Krishna pashe rake giya, Ede hera kare sarva nasha, Ede hera kare sarva nasha, Krishna nama chintamani, Akila resera kani, Nitya mukta shudhara samoy, Namere balahi yata, Sabalahi hai hata, Tabe mor sukera udaya, Tabe mor sukera rudai, Krishna nama dore katabala, Krishna nama dore katabala. What power does the name of Krishna possess? My heart was constantly burning in the fire of worldly desires, just like a desert scorched by the rays of the sun, but Sri Nam entering the core of my heart through the holes of my ears, has showered unparalleled nectar upon my soul. Srinam speaks from within my heart, moves onto the tip of my tongue, and constantly dances on it in the form of transcendental sound. My throat becomes choked up, my body shivers again and again, and my feet cannot remain still. 
Rivers of tears flow from my eyes. Perspiration soaks my body. All my skin thrills with rapture. My hairs stand on end, and my complexion turns pale and discolored. My mind grows faint. I begin to experience devastation, and my whole body is shattered by a flood of ecstatic emotions. While causing such an ecstatic disturbance, Sri Nam showers liquid nectar on my heart and drowns me in the ocean of divine prem. He does not allow me to understand anything, but makes me into a madman by stealing away my mind and all my resources. Such is the behavior of him of whom I have taken shelter. I am not capable of completely describing him. Sri Krishna Nam is independent and acts as his sweet will dictates. In whatever way he becomes happy, that is also the mainstay of my happiness. Sri Nam is the bud of the lotus of Prem and the abode of astonishing rasa. Such is the power that he manifests that when he begins to blossom, only a little further, he reveals his own divine form and qualities. Thus, my heart is abducted and taken into the presence of Sri Krishna. Now blossoming fully, the prem flower of Sri Nam takes me to Braj and reveals to me the pastimes of his own love dalliance. Nam gives me my own Siddha Deha, keeps me by the side of Krishna, and then he completely destroys everything related to this mortal frame of mine. The name of Krishna is a gem that fulfills all divine aspirations, Chintamani, and a mine of all Bhakti Ras. He is eternally liberated, and he is the embodiment of Shuddha Ras. When all impediments for the chanting of Shuddha Nam are destroyed, then my happiness will know its true awakening. As they chanted this Nam Kirtan again and again, half the night passed. When the kirtan finally ended, Vijay and Brajanath took permission from Gurudev and returned home, absorbed in Nam Ras. Thus ends the twenty-fifth chapter of Jaiva Dharma, entitled Pramaya Nam Abbas. Thus ends the narration of Volume 2 of Jaiva Dharma, completed on Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur's Disappearance Day, June 15th, 2004.